Yo ho ho! So today I'm going to be doing a book review on Kill Your Friends by John Niven. I read this about a week and a half ago and I really really enjoyed it and I just feel the need to talk about it. So it is set in London of 1997 which is basically the year that Britpop took over the world and our main character is Stephen Seal Fox who is an A&R agent for a record label which basically means he's kind of like a talent scout. He has to sign the hot new bands and the hot new artists and try to make as much money as possible off their music and it is a very competitive line of work that he's in because not only is he competing against other people he works with but he's also competing against all the other A&R guys in the other major labels so there's that what is interesting about this book is that it's basically like a year in the life of a me of uh, someone in the music industry um, at the start of like every second or third chapter it will say like January, February, March and go through the months and it will say what was happening in the music world in that month and who was number one and all that sort of thing and I found that really interesting because in 97 I was four so I can't really remember a lot of it and that's why I like that it's kind of like a nostalgia a trip down nostalgia lane and so that but Stephen as a character is probably one of the worst characters I've come across um, he is sexist and racist and homophobic and just has all the traits of a horrible human being but it's really entertaining to read it's not dark or depressing or heavy like American Psycho was which this book is compared to a lot I can see why it is compared but then again I, can, I can't really understand it because personally I found American Psycho really dark and heavy and I'd have to put it down and hold my head in my hands because I was so distraught by what I had just read but this this kind of book is totally different to that it's much lighter even though it is it is quite dark and I I enjoy that it was I was it was very hard to put down I just had to keep on reading keep on reading and uh, this Stephen's character is just like he he just all he wants to do is get ahead in life and he's not afraid to throw anyone else under the bus and we kind of see that his job is on the line uh, as we get into the book and you know he's 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 signed he hasn't made the best decisions it over the past few years and his job is kind of on the line and he just screws people over in a big bad way and it is amazing to read because in real life I don't think you could get away with what he does in this book you know and I just I found that very entertaining to read and when it comes to the murders I think I was expecting so much more from the murders I was expecting like really gross disgusting things and in fairness they are quite gross and disgusting but I was expecting something a bit worse considering this is compared so much to American Psycho and I will say that John Niven his writing style is a mixture between Brett Easton Ellis and Irvine Welsh and I think that's a really good mix the book is really really well written and the pace is just great it's not too slow and it's not too fast and it, it's just right and like I said I found it very addictive and I found it very hard to put it down and if you're easily offended I would say stay well away from it but if you have a darker sense of humour and you, you you like things like this go ahead and read it because I can guarantee you will really enjoy it I, I gave it like 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads purely because I was thinking that the murders would be much worse and they you know they're bad but you know they're not American Psycho um, so there's that so I would just really recommend this to anyone I know it's kind of it's a hard one to recommend because it's called kill your friends and I've had a few of my friends come over looking through my shelves and they're like oh kill your friends that's that's comforting and I have to kind of explain to them I was like no it's not really like that but whatever so you know just give this book a go if you're interested I really hope you enjoyed this video feel free to subscribe if you haven't already done so and I'll talk to you soon